Welcome to the Pole Nation. This is the recruiting trail for college basketball. So, we're at episode five. We're going to talk about the North Carolina Tar Heels 2024 recruiting class. Now, I know it's very, very early in college basketball signing, especially when we hadn't hit uh, college football signing, which is on to some February 7th. So, we'll dive into early the North Carolina Tar Heels. Uh, one of the most popular teams in all of college basketball. Uh, no Roy Williams. All right, no Roy Williams. But it's very early. North Carolina basketball. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the Pole Nation. I want to thank Silent Sports Network for the platform. Also, follow uh, Silent Sports Network, uh, the UNC account at SSN underscore UNC, which is at the bottom of the ticker. ticker. Well, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> All right, this is the recruiting trail, North Carolina Tar Heels 2024 recruiting class. As of right now, like I said, this is very, very early in the recruiting trail when it comes to college basketball. It is very, very early. Uh, right now, UNC ranks number seven in recruiting right now. They have three commits. They have two five-stars. They have one four-star and, of course, zero three-stars. All right, so they are ranked seventh, which they are – Behind Alabama, Baylor, Missouri, Rutgers, which I already did a video on. If you want to go back and watch that, Kentucky a video already do uh, already went on as well. If you want to go back and watch that as well, and the University of Duke, which I went back on. I also did uh, Arizona recruitment, which you know they're ahead of Arizona by four spots, obviously. But today we're going to solely focus on UNC. So UNC does have some guys uh, in there. Like I said, they have three guys. That signed a letter of content. They have a shooting guard, a small forward, and a center, obviously. So, who am I going to present to you as one of their top um, picks that you should really pay attention to? All right? Here's where you can pay attention to this guy right here. It's about to pull it up. Ann Jackson. All right? Ann Jackson out of the Bronx, New York. I'm in New Jersey since I'm not really that far from New York, obviously. Um, and Jackson, he's out of our savior Lutheranian school. <laughs> All right. 6'5, 185. Um, also, his rating is 98. So he's ranked eighth nationally uh, and number two in the state of New York. Number two. Um, so when it comes to Ann Jackson looking at this guy's film, um, he signed with North Carolina over Arkansas, Kentucky, LSU, and Oregon. So, yes, he met with the John Calipari's. He met with LSU, obviously, but he said UNC is the goal. Uh, what I like about this guy, watching this film, obviously, um, he's very competitive, but he can be a little bit inconsistent. He plays a two-way uh, style when it comes to the room. He puts pressure on the rim offensively. He does get after it defensively as well. Um, also, physically, he's kind of a little whirly, but he does have a strong frame. So, obviously, looking at the picture, you know, you got to build a great one when it comes to college basketball. You got to build that muscle. But, like I said, that's everybody else. Um, he's very explosive in transition and can get downhill, open floor, off the ball screen. And he can easily show in progression with his handle, left hand, touch finishes, and passing. But there can be times where decision making and overall feel can be a little bit questionable. Like I said, it's high school basketball, there's a lot of pressure on him, obviously. But you're at UNC, you got to be able to succeed. He can compete, but defensively, he can compete. And he's an energy giver on defense, which means in the ranks of college basketball, especially in the ACC, you have to fight over those ball screens. So this guy is able to consistently fight over ball screens. I think this guy will be a great addition to UNC, obviously. A guy that's versatile on defense. Because like I said, when it comes to the ACC, you have to be able to play defense in the ACC. So there's another guy I want to present are uh, the top three recruits that they also um, have as well. This guy right here, Drake Powell. Yes, Drake Powell uh, is from UNC, by the way. Uh, North Pittsboro, North Carolina, not Pittsburgh, Pittsboro, as in P-I-T-T-S-B-O-R-O, -T -T -O, North Carolina. He is from Norwood, 
high school. Uh, he's a small forward, 6'6", 195 pounds. His star ratings in 98, ranked ninth nationally and ranked number two in the state of North Carolina. All right, so this guy can be something. He does have some size. Um, but, like I said, everybody needs to build in the weight room. So, when it comes to this guy, he signed with North Carolina over Appalachian State, Cincinnati, Florida State, and Georgia. So, yeah, that type of thing, UNC is always known to get recruits. This is uh, post Roy Williams retirement. UNC has always been good at getting recruits. But this guy has size, length, and physicality and great quickness uh, when it comes to the defensive boards. Um, he is protective. He's a versatile player, multi-position defender, and he's a great wing wing batter as watching the film as well. Um, his game is a little bit of work in progress. Uh, he has not really developed to be a high-volume scorer or a primary creator that you can associate with the other five-star guys that you've seen that have come out of college basketball. Uh, obviously, what's up, Hunter? How you doing? Thank you for tuning in, obviously. I appreciate you. Uh, but – he can rise up with mid-range shots, pull up from half court, but also he can be utilized in catch and rip situations. He needs to learn uh, how to polish his handling and learn to attack lower to the ground, but he can still be able to get uh, very aggressive, and he's a pretty good passer. But he is fully, also fully engaged on the floor, um, and he also he's that guy that would defend uh, the best player on the team uh, when it comes to that. But like I said, this guy – it's six seven, very long arms. Probably has a wingspan about seven one. So this guy is very physical. Uh, I think, like I said, Drake Powell is a great addition. To what they do at UNC. There's also one more guy um, that UNC as well does have, and that guy will be, if I can pull this up, this guy right here, James Brown. Now, now we're not talking about James Brown, the singer. No, 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 no. We're not talking about James Brown, the singer. We're talking about James Brown, the, the setter, 6'9", 210, uh, out of Link Academy in Branson, Missouri. Um, he's 6'9", 210 pounds, all right? Three-star out of five. He's rated 89. He's uh, nationally 106, and he's ranked four in the state of Missouri, all right? We're not talking about, like I said, we're not talking about James Brown, the singer. We're talking about James Brown out of uh, Branson, Missouri, out of Link Academy High School. He chose UNC over Illinois, Michigan State, Missouri, and Notre Dame. Now, Michigan State has kind of been at them, but looking at the roster, Ross, they already have four centers. Um, Illinois, a very good Big Ten basketball team as well, has been going after them. They already have four centers. Missouri already has four centers, and Notre Dame only has one. But Notre Dame is kind of in a rebuild mode. If you're trying to win championships, you don't want to go to Notre Dame. So he went with UNC. Obviously, their roster, they don't really have any centers. Uh, probably as of next season, like I said, I'll go over the roster, who will probably be staying and who will be leaving, um, obviously. But when it comes to uh, this guy, James Brown, um, he's originally from Chicago, Illinois. So, you know, guys from Chicago can really, really play basketball, obviously. But. With his size, he has good length and a solid base um, that also allows him to hold and control space on both ends of the floor, which is great. And his offensive end skill level takes over. Um, he can comfortable side to side. Uh, he's armed with jump hooks, uh, up and under moves, soft touch to 12 feet, which is great. He can see the floor very well as a big man. So he's kind of like a big man that could probably uh, plays a little bit of a point guard. I wouldn't say Magic Johnson. Johnson, I wouldn't go that far, obviously. Uh, but he delivers smart and target passes to his teammates. Uh, for a guy like his size, he can make great reads. He's very advanced. The passing skills do serve him well in the high post where he finds easy cutters and he can shoot out of double teams, which is a very important thing. Um, the most thing I like about Brown at early in the stage, he is abundantious around the rim. He's a great finisher. Um Ain't wasting no time to score the basket. All right, he's 6'9", 210 pounds, score the button. So he has no hesitation of scoring the basketball. All right, so that's what I like about this guy. He has no hesitation of scoring the basketball, obviously. But like I said, 
Um, this is not it, but we'll, we'll look at the UNC roster here. Uh, I'm not really going to share it, obviously. So they, 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 this UNC team right now, uh, they have a couple young guys, but also they have some little veterans as well. Uh, you have Zach Hayden, uh, Zach, not, Zayden High, freshman, 6'9". Um, he's not going anywhere. You have a freshman guard in Elite Kadu. Uh, you have a graduate guard at Cormac Ryan, which he will be leaving, obviously, um, this upcoming next season, obviously. You have R.J. Davis, who is a senior. Uh, either He either leaves or he stays. Armando Baycott. Armando Baycott uh, for Richmond, Virginia, IMG Academy, obviously. Armando Baycott, Matt Pat knows him. I know him. I know a couple people that know him. But Armando Baycott is definitely his damn last year. All right, I know Armando Baycott has been with UNC for a very, very, very long time, but I ain't going to tell you something. He, this is his last year. I respect what, what Armando Baycott has done. Uh, I guess he came back to try to get another ring, but we'll see if UNC does get another national championship or at least gets a win. Uh, you have Seth Trimble, who's a sophomore. You have Paxson Wojcik, who is a graduate uh, senior as well. He will be leaving. Jalen Washington is a sophomore. Uh, Creighton LeBeau is a guard, a senior as well, out of Greenville, North Carolina. He will probably be leaving as well. Rob Landry is a senior as well. He'll probably be leaving too. Uh, you have Jalen Withers, a forward. He's a graduate senior as well. He'll be leaving. James O'Connell, uh, he's, he is a junior. Um, depending on some juniors in college, basketball can leave. But like I said, it's a little bit different sh- uh, actually, it's not that much of a structure. Basically, you can be one and done, but we'll see. You know, most UNC players at least stay to their senior year. Uh, Dwayne Ferris is a graduate uh, senior as well. He'll be leaving. And then Harrison Ingram, who's a junior. So they got about six, seven guys that are graduate seniors or seniors, which will probably be leaving the team next year. So like I said, this is very, very early in the recruiting process. Um, I did mention the roster and all that stuff, but like I said, we will see how this goes when it comes to UNC. Um, like I said, this is January, getting close to February. All right, we're getting close to that March Madness. And like I said, things will pop over soon. But this is it for the recruiting trail, episode five of the North Carolina Tar Heels. Like I said, this is very early in the recruiting process. I'm doing this very, very early. I'm not waiting until June to do it or none of this stuff. I want to get the content out to y'all. If y'all have any questions, please comment. If I miss something, please comment. But this is a recruiting trail. I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe to Total Pro Nation. I thank y'all for 111K subscribers. I also want to thank Silas Sports Network for the platform that you've given us, uh, Total Pro Nation. Also, you follow Sideline Sports Network, uh, SSN underscore UNC, to get more content and more information. Adios. Y'all have a great night. Please take care.